welcome to our extra video of the week. We are doing a... Um, um, Can they still see me? No, getting a little better. Uh, we asked you guys a couple weeks ago to ask us questions, and you did, and we shot a video, and before I could edit it, we lost it. Sam lost it. Somebody lost it. That's yeah. dad's fault. Yeah. It's I dad's don't dad's even fault. touch this computer. Yeah. So anyway, we are shooting it again, and it's kind of good that we did lose it because, um, yeah, since the first one, some things have changed. Namely, I fell and am immobilized at the moment, so um, it might change actually some of the answers for our questions. So are you guys ready? You ready to answer yeah. the questions? I'm so excited to talk about our farm because it seems like it's been on the back burner for the last week. I'm excited to bring it back. Stormstall is amazing. It's like all cleared out. Yeah, a couple of videos ago, um, they did like a tiny little sneak peek. If you guys are looking um, and you want to see it, it'll say on one of the titles, a sneak peek of our new farm. And you guys got to see Stormstall and Stella's stall. And that was really and then exciting. Sophia's new horse. Mimi Travis wants to know, how many acres does it have and does it have an indoor school? It has just under 10 acres. And does it have an indoor school? Yes, we're going to build another one now since that one is so tiny and so small. It does have an indoor school. It has, does have an indoor arena. Levi's like, help me. I want to be a part of you guys. Say hi, Levi. <laughs> Whenever we start shooting, he's like, I need to be there. Um, so yeah, it does have an indoor school. Chloe Enot asks, how big is the indoor arena at your new farm? So basically our indoor Smaller arena- Smaller than our old barn. It's so small. It's like so, so small. So basically it is so small. Um, the, the first part of the arena, like, so it's just one big long metal barn. And the first part houses like the feed room and all that kind of stuff. And then the last, ha and then the stalls, so the feed room, and then the stalls, and as you go back, yeah, it uh, is the indoor arena. It is tiny. Who knows if we're even going to get to ride our horses in there. I did ask and look into it, and, and apparently, can. yeah, apparently you can ride in there. You could do lessons in there. I just don't know how, how good it would be. Remember when we tried that horse that had lice? And yeah. I jumped it. Yeah, and, do you think it was um, small in that one? No, our arena is bigger than that. Is it? Yeah. They're, they have a huge arena, but um, there's like, they sectioned off a kind of tiny yeah. space to yeah. ride so in. We're so we're going to make it work. And even if we don't do a lot of riding in that arena, we're going to do a lot of stuff in there. We're going to do a lot of desensitizing with our horses. We're going to play with our horses. We're going to like do some training, fun training stuff. Some um, join up maybe if there's enough room. We're just going to have a lot of fun with it. Yes, yes. Nikki Smith asks, are you guys going to let Tex live at your farm? Are we going to let Tex live at our farm? No. Yeah, we would love to keep Kaylee and Tex with us, yes. but we obviously can't. We're not, we, we don't know what we're doing. Like we're going to have so much support when we move from so many different people, but they're really happy where they are and Tex is used to where they are and they're just going to stay where they are. Um, Chloe Enot, another one from her. She says, are you guys going to do a barn tour once you move in so we can see the stables in the arena? Heck yes. yes. AK Equestrian wants to know, um, when you guys get your new farm, will you guys buy jumps or will your tra or will you trailer to your current barn to jump? So what will we do? We will Both. buy jumps. Um, so yeah, like we are, de we are definitely going to buy jumps. If I, um, I was looking at jumps before I got injured. I, I, yeah, we are gonna buy jumps. I want them. We want them already. So, Somo wants to know. Hi, my question is: Will Sam get a horse? I hope you. Um, I hope you the best luck. For, um, I hope the best of luck for you guys. So, all right, yes, he so will. No, he won't. I need to yeah, Sophie needs to answer some. Okay, so he wants a horse like a Frisian. So we might. He might get a word. The answer is no, guys, because Dad does not ride, and sorry. Yeah, we would just have to do everything for it, like yeah, turn and it out, and he yeah. wouldn't spend a lot of time with it. Yeah, since he's well, working. If he wants to get a horse, he would get a horse. I don't think that he wants to get a horse right now. Mm -hmm. 
He would get a mini. That's all. Yeah. Got. The girls want a mini. So the um so swell underscore Abby says how many stalls does it have? Do you guys think you're gonna get any other animals like chickens when you move? So yes, how, we are getting chickens. Yes, ponies, we're getting chickens. No money. How many stalls does our barn have? Do you want to sit on my lap? Oh, you can't sit on my lap. Do you want to sit on this thing? No way. Okay. So how many stalls does our barn have? Four. Four stalls, and they're nice stalls. Like they they're pretty nice, huh? Um, we are gonna get more animals. We are definitely gonna get chickens. We've had chickens in the past, and, and we're excited. Pygmy goat. I want tiny baby miniature goats. We yeah. are gonna get pygmy goats. We don't. We're, we're no, gonna, we're gonna, gonna go slow. We're gonna go slow. You guys are gonna be pulling this comment up in a few, like in a couple of months, saying me saying we're gonna go slow and then be surrounded by a million animals. Hopefully that does not happen, especially now that I have a broken pelvis. It's gonna be more tricky. So, um, yeah, I want to go slow. We definitely want chickens. Um, we are getting another horse. Uni Elijah wants to know when are you going to move to the new barn? When are we moving, you guys? After Christmas. Yeah, in a week. January 1st. Yeah. So we open up the presents and then we pack them. Yeah. Then we pack them away. Yeah, we are moving in a week. It, it's very complicated at the moment because of my injuries. I don't know if and I'm going to be walking in a week. We need to pack. And yeah, we need to pack. Before I got injured, I was packing every day. I packed up the office and then boom, the next day I broke my hip so, or broke my pelvis. So, um, yeah, I think. Oh my God. Chocolate cake mix. <gasps> I don't know how it's gonna work. I can tell you honestly though that it's gonna be a slow progression. So like if we say we move a neck a week from uh, Sunday, um, we'll take a bunch of stuff over and then take a bunch of stuff over and then take a bunch of stuff over. So it might take us a week to move everything over. Or it might take us a little really? bit longer. It might take us a you little less. I asked you guys when are we sleeping there, and you guys were like January first. Well, that was the answer, and then poof, Mama came. Mama is out of commission, and now. Unless you want to move everything and, and do all the work. No, because people are helping us. Yeah, we. Uh, my kids are going to all help us. Guys, yes. I'm a little sick, so. Okay. I have a cold, too. Okay. <laughs> so, Skyla wants to know, will you guys keep Storm and Stella separated because Storm doesn't like Stella? Yes. Uh, no, the answer is no because then we'll get too lonely. And Storm gets lonely, especially at new places. They will Unless be separate. Yeah, like, Unless he has grass. Yeah, we don't know what's going to happen. As it stands, I think the, the field that they're going to be in is going to be together. Um, that's what we're going to try. We're going to try it out, see, it happens, see what happens, and then see what needs to be fixed. Bramble and Cleo wants to know, when you move to your new barn, will the horses be kept in the stables or will they be in fields? Or will they be field horses, live outside all the time? Just wait, that's um, Sophie answer. I have a... Wait, what? <laughs> Both. Where will the horses just will the horses be kept in the stables, or will they will they be able to go in at night, or will they be outside all the time? Um, they will be going in at night and go outside in day and stuff. Yeah, it's just a similar what to what they have now. Yeah, cause at our barn I they just go out and then they come in for supper. And so I have a question. Um, what is your favorite animal? Yeah, we Mom, need ideas. Just what like, is up with this? She's picking all the people that have SSO on their um picture. picture. Um, okay, so that one horse says, "What does this farm include? Are you still going to learn as much stuff from homeschool and won't get distracted? Right? As education is important." Well, today's the last day of school so. for Christmas holidays. We will be moving during Christmas holidays, which is really good because the girls are not going to be able to are going to miss any school. And yeah, we're going to just integrate our chores and our horses into our homeschool day. It's going to be amazing. AKA do school in our barn. Oh, see, as a soul person again, what is up with mom? Okay, so Styles Equestrian wants to know how will you help the horses adapt to the farm? So excited to see the farm. So basically, we're just going to move them in and put them in a grass field and they're going to love it. So the Storm does not care so as long I'm, as he has food, like grass. We're going to walk them around. I'm not going to ride still for the first week. So yeah. She can get used when to we it. both times we've moved, bought and, every single time we've bought a horse and moved it to our new barn, and we've gotten on and we've ridden like the next day, people have been like, "You need to like wait," and yeah, we've been but, like, "No, it's fine." And then 
We moved this last time and we needed to wait. Like we learned. That's stormy. Storm's been at that. Yeah, Storm, Storm can handle it, but Stella, she needs to wait. So we're gonna take our time integrating our horses, right? We're gonna yeah. go slow, we're gonna uh, do whatever they need us to do. And if that just means like- AK okay, bonding first person. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. If that means like doing a whole heck of a lot of bonding with our horses in the first little while, then that's, that's fine. Yeah, and basically, like, so Storm's fine as long as he has friends and yeah. food. Yeah. How many more questions? So Henny110 says, are you going to have lessons on your new farm, and is Laura going to get a new horse that isn't Stella? So, I'm um, going to get a new horse that isn't yeah. Stella. Yeah, so we are getting a new yeah. horse. It, it, essentially, our horses are family horses. I mean, Gabby has her horse, and he loves her, but... And FGG, that's all Storm wants. F for um for friends, G for grass, and G for grain. And G for Gabby. Um, no. So, I mean, so if you ride Storm, I ride Storm, we all ride each other's horses. We are getting another horse. Technically, it'll it'll be, I think, Sophie's horse. I don't know. But it'll be a horse that can take us a little further. We are actively looking. Like, as <laughs> soon as we can get a horse, we will get one. Yeah, we're not looking right now. Um. Yeah, we are actively looking. We have, we're going to have so much help. It's going to be maybe a bit of a slower process. Things are going to go completely different this time when we buy a horse, but we're going to get another horse very soon. Okay, what? What is your favorite color and breed of horse? Quarter horse, dark bay, boom. Okay, so also the question asked, are we still going to take lessons from Fiona? And uh, absolutely we are. We are going to take lessons from Fiona and race car driver. Nothing is going to change at first. Um, we plan to leave our horses where they are um, initially while we get our farm set up and ready to go um, and learn a few more things and just get things situated the way we want. So the girls are so happy with our barn. We love our barn. So yeah, happy. Yeah, the arena is huge. So our horses will be where they are, but all of our trainers will still be able to come to our arena. When we get them moved, eventually they can still come there or we can take our horses and take them back to our old barn and have our lessons there. It is completely up to us. We will still have all of our support team. They will come. Um, I know that the people that I'm going to be looking for a, uh, another, like a trainer for Stella, and we're gonna just figure it all out. But yeah, everybody can still come to our farm. Um, Alice Moose Cage wants to know, are we gonna lose um, a contact with Kaylee and Tex? No, we're no not. Way. No, we're still gonna ride there. We're still gonna go to our old arena. It costs $15 to go and ride at our old arena, or at our arena that we're at now. Like we can yes. just go there whenever we, we want and ride. We'll pay them. And uh, show season is about to start. You guys don't know that. Like, uh, we have a winter show season. I'm not exactly. I think February is going to start. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be way up in that stuff. Like, we're going to do a lot more shows this year, mm -hmm. right? Um, and I'm going to do cross rails and hopefully two foot. The barn that we're at right now hosts um, shows. So we're going to do that entire series. It's it's winter and summer. Yeah, like, we're, we're a lot of fun plans. And so is gonna ride sell it, and I'm gonna do maybe hack, but definitely cross rails and maybe two foot. Okay, so Rosemary Clay something. I cut off her I cut off her name and I don't know what it is, I'm so sorry. But she wants to know, um, what is the most exciting part of being on a farm to you? So we're gonna I mean, our horses this. live there. Our horses live there. Okay, so for me it's gonna get it's going to be interacting with our animals being a hundred percent responsible for them like uh, i want our horses to know us as their people i i want to like we in the afternoons we're going to spend all of our time out there just playing my biggest thing that i want to do is i want to lay in the field in the grass i just want to go sit out there and lay there maybe read my book for hours and let the horses like come and hang out with me and get used I wanna to me i want to teach my horse to lay down yeah i want to teach my horse how to uh bow the girls want to go into their stalls at night they want to do their nightly reading in the stalls with their horses and that's what we are doing yeah we're like, not wanting to do no that. We, we are doing yeah like that's the biggest thing oh, is we're also doing a 24 hours of Oh yeah, the videos. We're so excited about uh, so many we're videos. We're gonna set up cots in our horse's stalls, and then we're gonna <laughs> sleep in them. And I don't know how our, that's gonna work. And then our horses will wake us up by pushing us off the cot. But we are gonna get like <laughs> cameras for the stalls so that we can we can watch them from and in the cameras house. Cameras for for the trailers, and basically our horses won't get a break from seeing us. Um, Chanel Zimmer wants to know: Does your for, Does your farm have trails? 
No. <laughs> no trails. So, Caitlin Moniz wants to know, do you have any riding rings at your new house? So we don't have a riding ring. We have the indoor arena. Um, but that is one of our priorities. Sam's going to put in an outdoor riding arena so that we can utilize that in the summer. Okay, Adeline Webster wants to know, and this is an important question, I think, because a lot of people get confused. Do you ride your horses every single day? No. Even though we post videos of his riding almost every single day, most of them are taken at... Uh, most of them are taken... So, like, my lesson, Sophia has my her lesson, like, right after my lesson. Mom has her lesson before us. And but we show them on three we different, show them on days. different so days. So, no. They're, uh, we aim for five days a week, but right now we're doing four days a week. No, um, right now we're doing, like, three days <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because of all the things that have been happening in our life. Yes. Yeah, lesson, yeah. Sunday lesson coming up. So, um, a Chassine, Jack Chassinik, I don't know how to say her name. Um, is this the last move for you guys or will this be your forever home? This is not our forever farm. This is our beginning farm. This is our first farm. Okay, please. Wait, isn't that more. chasing EQ? Oh. Chasing EQ, that's it. Good, good thing I homeschool her to be smart. I just want to ask you guys before we end this video um, if there's anything else that you want to share. I, I think um, you guys probably would like to know that the house is considerably smaller than this. It's a similar style, like a, an older style, um, a bit higher, of, the ceilings are a bit high and it's got some nice windows and some I nice Levi. work. Yeah, you do look like Levi. Um, uh, so that'll be getting used to. We do need to work a little bit on the fields that we have, um, some fencing and that kind of stuff. Um, we have we a need really to buy a gate, a four hundred dollar gate. Yeah, it's gonna be expensive. We need to buy a round pen. Um, yeah, like there are a so lot of things that we need to buy still, which, which, yeah, I need to be able to walk first before we can buy them, unfortunately. But. Um, a lot of things but we're going to share all that stuff with you guys like setting up our barns like we have our colors ready you know, yes, you're going to tell them what red. your colors are pink red. for stella and red for store yeah pink and red don't really go together and we're going to get another gelding likely and um his, and color, his will color will be, be blue since he's yeah. going to be a chestnut well we don't know no no my mom dreamed she yeah. was riding a chestnut so yeah. he's going to be a chestnut yeah you never maybe know that, maybe that was sabrina yeah. And blue looks good on chestnut. So yeah, there's like so many things that have to happen at this farm, but um, we're going to move so soon. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be a farm, you guys. It's going to be a place that we can take our horses. It's going to need a lot of work. And I don't want you guys to be like shocked that it's so tiny and, and feel like we're downgrading, even though we're kind of downgrading. We are. Yeah. Our old house is bigger than this. Yeah. And then this house is smaller than our Seems old like house. Seems like every time we move, we downgrade. But it's going to give us so much more. It's going to give us opportunity to spend time with our horses. Um, I have only moved two times in my, no, one time in my entire life. Um, but that is it. I hope that answered most of your questions. I'm excited. I know most of you guys are really excited for us and I can't wait to share this whole new amazing adventure with you all. Who did it better? Gabby <laughs> or Levi? <laughs> to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.